Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you could use styles in Microsoft Word. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. My HR department requires me to say that. Now, if you've never used styles before, styles are a very nice way you could format your document. It makes it really easy to make updates. You could even insert table of contents, which are automatically updated. Styles give you lots and lots of benefits. If you've never used them before, this video will change the way you work with Word documents. All right, well, hopefully that makes you excited. Why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you how you can use styles. So here I am in Microsoft Word, and this is a this is the latest and greatest version that comes with Microsoft 365. And what I have here, this is a travel list that I've created. And every time I go on a trip, I reference this sheet to look and make sure that I have all my uh, bath gear, to make sure I have all the right clothing, that I'm bringing all the right tech along. Uh, so I have lots of different content on here. It's just a very basic Word document, no special formatting. The only thing I've done is I've added numbered lists uh, and that's really it. So with styles, what is the benefit of applying a style? Well, let me just show a quick example of where styles can be beneficial. So in this sheet that you see here, I have these different headers. So in this case, I have bath and then I have clothing. Uh, and let's say that, hey, actually, I wanna make the header a little more prominent. Uh, so maybe what I'll do is I'll highlight this and I'll make it bold. Maybe I increase the font size on it a little bit and maybe I make it blue. Uh, so there's my new header. Uh, the only problem is like, you know, here if I look down at clothing, it's still my old uh, style. Here if I go down technology, that, that hasn't updated. So what I could do is I say, okay, well, you know, I could click on this and I could redo all the formatting. Or what I could do is I could use the format painter to basically copy the format and then I could paste it there and apply the format. And I could go through my entire sheet and do that. But there are lots of different headings in this sheet. So that's gonna be a lot of work. Well, this is where styles come in and styles can really save me a lot of time. So what I could do with this style, let me actually highlight this header and I'm gonna go through quickly and I'm just gonna highlight all my different headers here. So we're gonna go ahead and select that one. Up front, you're gonna invest some time, but this will pay off as you make updates. So here I've highlighted all my different headers within my document, and now I'm gonna say these are all heading one, that's style. So to apply a style, what I'm gonna do is within the home pivot, you have this section called styles, and then you simply click on a style to apply it. And what I can also do is if I click on this little drop down, I could scroll through, um, or I could just see them all at one time. So I could see all the styles I have here. Uh, and so now I've applied my styles. Now the neat thing is if I make a change to this style now, it'll apply to all the other places that are using this style. And so what I mean by that is, let me actually click on heading one and I'm gonna right click on it now. And what I could do is I could go to modify. So I'm gonna click on modify. And here I have all these different controls over how I wanna modify heading one. So I could change the font, I could change the size, the bolding, the color. I could even change things like the paragraph spacing, the borders around it. So there's lots of different things I could adjust for the style of this. And so let's say just a really simple change, maybe I wanna make it red. And then I'm gonna click on okay. And what you'll see happen now, all the headers within my document, bath, clothing, technology, all these things, it's updated them automatically. So as I'm working on a document, any place that references that style will automatically update. So the benefit of styles is as you make changes to a style, it'll very quickly apply it to all places that use that style. Uh, so it gives you lots of control and makes it very easy uh, to update the look and feel of a document. Now, one thing I can also do in Microsoft Word, there's a design pivot up on top. So I'm gonna click there and you'll see all these different themes that exist. And now these themes take advantage of styles that you've set. So here I'm gonna choose uh, the shaded theme. And so what it'll do now is it looks for all the heading ones and it applies a specific theme. And here I could choose other themes here and it takes advantage of me defining these different styles for the different elements within my document. Uh, so it makes it very easy to update the look and feel of your document. Uh, here you could also apply different colors. Uh, you could apply different font types and it'll very quickly go through and then update that throughout your document. Uh, so that's one of the benefits of styles, just being able to quickly update. 
I also want to call out one other benefit and one reason you should also be using styles. So here's what I'm going to do. Not only can you update the look and feel of the document, but you could also offer some more utility. Let's say that I wanted to offer a table of contents for all this content. Well, what I typically have to do is I'd have to type in, you know, here, let me go back to the normal. So what I typically do is I would type in bath and then I would type in, well, my next section is clothing. So let's type in clothing. And so I could go through and then I could add each one of those as a section for my table of contents and then I could look up, well, this is on page one, this is on page two. Uh, but manually trying to keep that up to date is quite difficult. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the References tab, and within References, there's an option to insert a table of contents. So here I could insert these automatic table of content contents, or I could also create a custom table of contents. So first off, let's just insert this automatic table of contents, and voila, it's all done. All the page numbers match the page that that heading appears on, and the table of contents is leveraging the fact that I put down all these headings within my document. Now what, I, what I'm also gonna show you how to do, I'm gonna get rid of this table of contents for a moment. Let's go ahead and delete that. And I'm gonna go back to references, table of contents, and I'll do a custom table of contents. One thing you'll see here is with a table of contents, I could have it take advantage of the heading one, heading two, heading three. So as I define more styles in my document and more heading styles, the table of contents will take advantage of that. So kind of a nice capability if you wanna use table of contents. Uh, if you wanna use table of contents, it's also critical that you're using styles in your document. Now, one other thing I also wanna show another benefit of applying styles. So if I go here and click on the view pivot, one thing you'll see here is I can also click on something called the navigation pane. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's click on that. And what this will do is it'll show me a quick view of my document headings. And so here I'm currently on the bath view, but if I wanna jump down to a tropical vacation, I could click there and it will throw me to that spot in the document. And it's a very nice quick way I could jump around my document. Once again, using headings that I've defined and I could do that by applying different styles. So another benefit of applying styles. All right, well, that's a quick uh, demonstration of, first off, why you want to apply styles to your document and then what benefits you could get from it. One of them is you could just quickly update the look and feel of your document without much effort. You could also use styles if you want to insert a table of contents and you want it to be automatically generated. You want to keep the page numbers up to date. And then you could also use styles as a quick way to navigate throughout your document and jump to the different sections within your document. If you learn something something new about using styles and you think you might use styles moving forward in your documents, please give this video a thumbs up. Once again, as I always say, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if there are any other topics you want to see me cover in the future, leave a comment down below. I'll add it to my list of videos to create. And hey, that's all the content I had for all of you today. I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Bye.